What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to fix every kind of error or issue you're currently having with Warfounder. Stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issues. Before we start right into the video, I just want you guys to know or let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys, you would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to navigate to your taskbar, you're gonna right click your taskbar and open up your task manager. Navigate to the top left spot, uh, top left corner, click on the processes and once you click processes, I want you to... um. Click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one, and once you clicked it, I want you to type in the name of your game. And if nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. Afterwards, you are able to end the task manager again, navigate to the bottom left corner, click into the window symbol, open up your settings, navigate right into update and security and stick around Windows update. What I want you to do here is going to be to simply um, just download the latest version of your Windows driver because it will fix a lot of issues and errors. So once you're finished with that, and discuss task and do the same thing for your graphics card. So go to the application, go to the browser and download the latest version of your graphics card driver just to provide the best possible performance in general for your PC. Once you're finished with that, take your in-game shortcut on your desktop or your game shortcut, so your launch shortcut, you're gonna right click it, go to the very bottom where it says properties, you're gonna hit compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Enable run this program compatibility mode 4, select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an add-on administrator, hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to reset your PC afterwards and once it is restored you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right into your shortcut. So once you saw that you're gonna double click it, launch a game over the launcher, launch a game instantly and this will probably fix the issue. Yeah guys that's it for the video, I hope that I could actually help you out of this one, if it was like that just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right onto my YouTube channel, it would really make my day and help me out, see you in the next one and bye.